Welcome to Ace MTG and the Kumite Championship. So over the past few months, we've been doing these Kumites on Saturdays, and we now have eight winners, as you can see right here. We got Dominic, we got Tyler Tier, D, sorry, <laughs> Roaming Boss, Mo Diddy Mo, Tire Tracker, got myself, Geronimo, and we got Jay Wahalo. These are our eight winners we've had in these weekend Kumite. So now with our big championship here, what we're gonna have to as a grand prize, pretty nice. So every single winner either got three or six packs, depends on the code I was able to actually buy. So everybody got a little, uh, actually let's go to our store, got a little prize for these things. But now our grand championship is going to give you this. You're going to get the Murder Girl, or what, Massacre Girl, sorry, the Massacre Girl actual pre-release bundle here. So you're gonna get those 50 packs. So on that Tuesday, February 6th, you get to crack open 50 packs, five golden packs. You get the Massacre Girl card style and the card as well. Pretty good, pretty nice prize for a free tournament. All of us have been just jumping in on these on Saturdays, having a lot of fun with them. And now our grand champion is gonna take that home. So let's go back to our brackets here. Because this is the championship, we're doing best of three. Why we normally have not been doing best of three in a lot of these lives is because they could go incredibly long. I'm gonna give you an example. Tire Tracker and myself, we got paired up round one and we both brought Domain. If anybody's done best of three with Domain on the ladder, those matchups could take an incredibly long time. Geronimo and Jay Wahalo, they had to do their match before this weekend because Geronimo was not able to join us live this weekend. So we wanted to see were we gonna play this weekend or next? Well, Jay Wahalo was able to take that victory two to one. It was an awesome matchup. They recorded it for me, so I got to watch it. Geronimo was going with Gagari. Jay Wahalo is going with Mono Black. And game one, they both drop a Lily but Jay Wahala was able to alt his Lily earlier and able to take home the victory on that one. Game two, Jay Wahala kept a, I think a six lander in his opening hand, ended up losing, but then coming back and just swarming him in game three for that victory. So right there, we can move Jay Wahala into the next category, going against either myself or Tire Tracker. Now, right now, what we're still waiting on, and just check in chat just to see if he's shown up, okay? Roaming Boss, nobody's been able to get a hold of him all week long. Aaron here, that's also what he's known by. He won our first uh, actual live that we did with a Kumite, and he's joined in a few other ones as well. He was in the finals last week, and so we've yet to get a hold of him. So what we're gonna do is uh, Dominic and Tyler, they're gonna go ahead and play their game. Uh, Tire Tracker, myself, we're gonna play our game. And if we cannot get uh, Roaming Boss to show up, the loser of Dominic and Tyler's game and the loser of my matchup will end up playing each other. Then the winner of that will go against Mo Diddy Mo just to make things fair. So round one will take a little bit of time if we can't actually get Roaming Boss to show up. We've tried to add him on Discord. He's in our overall server one. We just haven't been able to get things together. So everybody, let's go ahead and start getting things going. So Dominic, Tyler D, if you could go ahead, jump into your rooms in Discord. Those of you who have some curiosity, you wanna know our deck lists, you could come into our Discord, Come up here to Kumite Conversations and you can find everybody. So my deck, as you can see, I'm going with a domain deck. You can see my whole list, copy paste, put it in arena for yourself. Go check that out. Okay, then as I scroll down, we got Tyler D's deck right here. So we have a little bit, what is this? We got all Demir, a little bit of Demir aggro with our schooner, Deep Cavern Bats. Really great deck on there. We have Colton, here's his mono black list, which he's already been able to get one victory with. Coming down, we have Dom, who's going with a little bit of Zorius Control. And Mo, we have... Let's double check this. We got a wedding announcement, Ganjo, cut down. So Rafine, all right, so we got our Esper Rafine style deck. Love to see one of those in there. This was actually a deck I was really heavily leaning towards playing, was Esper Midrange. So yeah, Dominic, go ahead, jump into your rooms, start sending out your pairings for round one. So get yours underway. And then Tired Tracker right here, my opponent, he also has Domain, a slightly different list than mine, but still pretty much that mirror right there. So 
if we could go ahead and start this thing now. So we will, round one is gonna take a little bit of time. So Dominic, Tyler D, go ahead, start your best of three matchup. And Tired Tracker, can you go ahead and send me that request for our match, best of three, and then we'll get ours underway as well. Good luck to every single person out there. These weekend kumites, I've had an absolute pleasure doing them. It's so much fun interacting with everybody out there. Uh-oh, Tyler D is not here. All right, so interesting. <laughs> we have the whole top bracket not showing up at the moment. Well, if Tyler D is not here. Uh, Tire Tracker, let's just hold on one sec on that now. If we can't get Tyler D to show up, let's see. So we have Mo is here. Right, Mo, can I get confirmation here in YouTube chat? You're also here. So I know Dom's here. I know Tire Tracker's here. He sent me the request. I got one. That's three of us. If Mo's here as well, that's four. Yeah, Mo is here. All right, so we might need to just do some mixing and matching then. What would be fair? Oh boy, big championship day and we're having a, a few no-shows here. So Tyler D is offline in Discord as well. Well, hopefully messages will get through. We can give them a little bit of time. New bracket created. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously we have five people though, which makes it a little, little awkward. Just trying to think of what would be best, right? Next round, we need four people to move in. So <clears throat> I think what we could do here in this case, so when is the next tournament at all? Actually, great, great question. So what we're going to be doing is, let's see, next weekend, no Kumite. February 10th, that's when I would love to have that next Kumite public for every single person to join in. Remember, these are free. Anybody can enter in them. I put it on Discord. I put it in my community tab. I give you a link. Jump into those things. Absolutely free. Winner gets a prize. But February 10th is when I wanted one. However, I'm going to be out of town on that weekend. So it's not going to be until February 17th. Unfortunately, we're going to have a little bit of gap until anybody could join these in. All right, so... It looks like to me then, yeah, let's go Dom and Mo Diddy Mo. You two play each other. Tire Tracker and myself will play each other. Our winner will move on. Your winner will move on. The two losers will play each other to be the other person moving on in the tournament. We'll just have to do it that way to make it fair. I want round four. So whoever loses, yes, they get a second chance to actually move forward on this one. Okay. So Tire Tracker sent me the request. I'm going to play him. Mo Diddy Mo and Dominic, if you guys could go ahead and get yours. And if somehow Tyler D actually shows up or Romy Boss shows up, then we're just going to end up having them play each other. I think Tyler D just sent me a message earlier today as well. So hopefully he's going to be able to come on back. All right. So tire tracker, I am now finally accepting yours. We're going to get ours underway. All right, let's see. Choose my deck, my domain. Oh, wait, I didn't even check. I hope you did uh, best of three and you chose it's a uh, random coin flip. <laughs> if you go first, I know it's rigged. Yeah, so I hope though, February 17th, we get a ton of people hop in that next Kumite. We really keep these things going. I think they're a lot of fun. Oh, see, you're getting to go first. I think you rigged it on us. Oh, all right, we don't love this. We're gonna have to mulligan. We have zero ramp. We'll take that. Not a great hand. Di Oops, not, not land. Ditch the depopulate. So not a good start for us. We might be going into that loser's bracket right here. Okay, try land. There we go. We were afraid we're going to have to use the Mirix to get our beanstalk going. 
And don't forget, you all could hop in. Oh, that's a good hit. Okay, you could all hop in the Discord, come on down. You could go ahead and check out Dom's game and Moe's game if you wanna go check out their hands. Please don't announce what's happening. They are honorable people. They're not watching each other's games, okay? They're playing the game fairly. So yes, feel free, hop in on the table, enjoy the gameplay between them, but don't give anything away. All right, so let's go planes. Let's get up the Beanstalk. I haven't done any ch uh, standard challenges yet. I'm actually, uh, I've been super busy with some other stuff, but I'm really excited to try out a few of those in the next week because my content for this week is going to be that streamer Kumite I've been talking quite a bit about. So really excited for that. All right, we'll go ahead and get our own stomper down. Let's see if he's got the perfect curve and he, uh, let's see, what do we need? All right, we have double white, we have blue, we have green. Let's go ahead and get a black. All right, I, I have one removal spell in this deck, so. But let's see if he goes straight into invasion and immediately into the flip, nice. Does he also have the land drop though? Because if he gets that, that's gonna put him way ahead. Well, maybe not. We, we'll Sunfall after that, I suppose. Yep, he has the land drop, gets the automatic flip. Now, instead of doing our own invasion, I think we're gonna have to Sunfall here, right? We don't wanna take eight on our own. Let's go Angel. Let's get the Sunfall and the draw. Yeah, Domain Mirror is at least a 30 ma minute match. I agree. When I saw the pairings and I saw everybody submit the decks, I was like, oh no. I absolutely hate the Mirror match with the Mirror. I think it's so boring, so long. It's, oh boy, nice, nice, nice. All right, what can we do here? So we could go Stomper. Let's go Dino. So we go Stomper, at least gives us a blocker. Let's get a red out there. We could take care of one of those and we have a blocker as well. All right, let's go ahead and pass. We're just trying to absorb as much of this damage as possible. Yeah, right after the Sunfall. Maybe I could have held off on the Sunfall, right? He would have only had a 4-4. Four, four. That wouldn't have been too bad for me. So maybe doing the Invasion would have been the better play. Just wait on it a little bit. Yeah. It might be the Leyline Binding. I'm gonna lay, I, you hate Leyline Binding and the Leyline Binding in case he has another one, but I think it's our best bet. That's a good draw. All right, now we'll also take the blue. Activate. And now we at least have two blockers. We have the Archangel to take care of another one of these. Woohoo, a herd of our own. No, don't tap the black. What are you thinking? Um, we need the green, though. Wow, that's our only source of green right now. Four, five, six. I don't know, maybe hidden face is actually better here because we have really good blockers. Go into his own sunfall though, potentially, which we don't want. Maybe a little risky to do that, but I want I want to start hitting as hard as possible. All right, looks like maybe, hmm, little pause there. 
Could be just cycling the land. It is cycling the land. All right. I mean, right now we have the card draw advantage, but there's his own Sunfall. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, so now mm, we have every color, right? Double draw off of this. Could be in a little bit of a who's going to get the Troxa. It's dinosaur. We could thin out the deck more. Let's wait though. We're we're in the lead right now, right? We're forcing action on his part. Depopulate. Hey, so glad we waited. I think we just take it out. Right, get more card draw out of it. Okay, there, there's a huge play. Leyline binding the Leyline binding, nice. Okay. So we do get that hit. Don't like that tap. Uh, let's go red, blue. White. Green. Black. And we tap it that way. Only problem is we have so much stuff here. Another Atraxa. Seiju. Let's go like that. No Leyline Binding does hurt. All right, we're going to pass there. We need to discard two things. We get rid of a Cavern of Souls. And I'm gonna get rid of a land. All right, so we have the Besaju to take care of this if they have the removal for our Troxa. So right now, the difference in this game has been our up the Beanstalks. Really can't believe we missed. Just been checking on chat here, just seeing if we had our other competitors show up. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Draws a land. This might be a sit back and wait situation. Let's just go invasion to thin out the deck. Actually, we should have attacked first. If that one card is a ley line binding. You're gonna be mad at that decision. All right, it's gonna force them to either have it right now or top deck it. Uh-oh, the Discord link on the channel doesn't work. Okay, give me one second here. End step, let's go straight to Discord. Scroll to the top. Uh, where is it? Invite people. Copy link, close that down. All right, uh, why is that not going through? Oops, there we go. All right, go ahead and try that and let me know. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what do we got? Wandering Emperor? Okay, I'm sorry about that. 
All right, okay. Who harms my people must contend with me. So we're good now. Noth nothing they could do. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That was their end step. Okay, they could have drawn. Oh, good. That worked. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, GG's. We get the first one. So with this, Jace comes in. Because milling ends up, in most of the time I've done these, being the biggest factor in this. Bitter Triumph goes. Depopulate goes. It seems weird, but I usually get rid of the angels. Right? We want... What's with the... That looks funky. I don't remember it normally looking like that. All right. We want the negates... The Seed Shark is usually really valuable in this matchup too. So Angels go. Disdainful Stroke is good. Oh, there is a bunch of visual bugs, so that's what's going on there. Yeah, because look at, it's only your ones that are the cosmetic, but it looks all funky. Uh, let's go ahead and quick hop in Discord. Tire Tracker. He does... It does have the Cavern of Souls. So because of that disdainful stroke, what are we getting? We're getting his Sunfalls. We're getting his Herd Migrations. We're getting his Leyline Bindings. We're getting his Jaces. That could be enough. Can't go no Sunfalls because if they Herd Migrate, it's, we have to have an answer for it. I'm going to go with this lineup for now. We might add in the two disdainful strokes afterwards. Let's try it out. All right. I think we keep it. It's not great. We could have a good ramp. Herd migration will find us that third land if we need. Could be really slow, though. I I'm going to try it, though. Just, I mean, untapped land is what we're looking for. So untapped land into our stomper. There it is. Okay, so now we get turn three stomper, at least. We'll get our ramp. Two blue, there's the Jace, nice. Early Jace, that's gonna be painful for us. Gets rid of our negate and one of our Jaces. All right, let's go Angel. Get our ramp, uh, I think we take blue. We gotta run it out. If he's got the negate for it, this is really gonna hurt. Negate or disdainful stroke. All right, that's huge, absolutely huge for us. Let's just double check what we're working with. We have double white, we have red, We have so we need a black. I think I'm gonna go black and white. Sunshade attacking me. What's been going on now? All right, we got our land. <laughs> yeah, green screen. So I, I, I have this window. The sun just comes blaring through here during the day. <sighs> All right. Uh, two, four. So up the beanstalk is our best. I mean, we got herd migration here for days, which is the least nice. We could cycle this as well. Let's 
go ahead and give that a little ping. <laughs> Sending agents to distract me. I love it. All right. End step. Ooh. Okay, I will take that. Early lane line binding out of the hand. Good target on it. Right, that gives us... That, I mean, that won us the game last time. We are going to cycle this land. Two, four, six, seven. Right, we get a Troxa down if we want. Yep, keeps plussing it. As long as this is not getting out of hand. I believe on his list, he only had two in his sideboard. Jace, yeah, he only has two, so he drew one of them. So he's getting close to his seven land as well. There's our Jace, okay. We gotta be careful with it though. We don't want it countered. So first things first, I think. Hit their Jace. We want to keep it at two. This won't affect our greater plans. We're going to go herd migration, force the sweeper out of their hand. We'll go and get the land down. A little, little extra land doesn't hurt. Right, I wanted to play that before the Atraxa because Atraxa is going to refill our hand. And I want to keep everything here. So I wouldn't get the true value out of it yet. If he plays a track, okay, Sunfall, we expected. 6-6 six, six is deadly. You can be made to obey. We throw it at him again. Beautiful. The fact that he just made a 6-6 six, six tells me he does not have a sweeper in hand at the moment. Leyline binding hurts. One Jace, one negate, one Leyline binding. Heard migration of his own. This is a sunfall. Only four. We could swing all in to try and kill the Jace. I don't think that's the goal. And we have three mana for the Stomper. All right, and we have Besaju to take care of a Leyline Binding if we need. We don't want to get back or up the Beanstalk yet, though. Okay. Become subdued. Up the Beanstalk of his own. We might want to take care of that. Angel. All right, we'll go dinosaur. Activate this. See what we could do there. Wandering Emperor could be coming out though. Another Leyline Binding, gets the draw. Take care of it before it targets it. Make him have another removal spell now. Really want to use that on the up the Beanstalk, right? So much value he's getting. I mean, it's what won us the last game. Any word in chat on what's going on in the other matchup? I would love to hear that how that game's going.
All right, so we're letting them keep the Jace at the moment. 40 cards, we have 32. Two, four, I mean, we have, okay. We don't have double blue yet though, do we? Yeah, that's problematic. I mean, we. I guess we did cycle that, probably a mistake. Got his Sunfall, more card draw. Man, so good. I mean, we're able to put the pressure though, right? We're about to do another herd migration that's gonna present lethal. Well, not quite. You'll have a blocker in that. No, that's still nine. Okay, up the beanstalk. There we go. Two, three. Now we just have to hope, because if he has a negate, he might use it on that instead of my herd migration. Another Atroxa, that's huge too. Okay, there's the negate. We figured it had to be in the deck somewhere. We get the draw, nothing we get to do now. Now we have a turn where we're holding back. He gets to do the offensive. Can't stop my Atroxa though, and hopefully we get enough value out of it. Atroxa of his own, yeah. That's gonna be rough. What does he find? We're hoping no Leyline Binding. Destroy evil, that's good. Oh, this is all good. Yeah, I think right there that has shifted the tides. If we're able to find our removal spells though, destroy enchantment. Okay, taps out, sweeper off the top right here. Who's feeling the sunfall? No. What is this leaving me? Okay, I, I need blue. So blue, white, black, green, dino. I'd rather have the, uh, I don't think black, this does any good. Okay, that could come in handy later. We need this. We don't find the other, we need Jace. Oops, I meant to play, shoot, shoot. I meant I meant to play my other blue right now. I didn't need the untapped white. Oh, that was a huge, huge mistake. Then they're gonna destroy evil me. We could just pop this for three. That's nine, puts him to 19. Puts us really close. All right, up the beanstalk now is gonna be the thing that's gonna end up milling them here. So we found no wraths. Problem is you almost have to destroy evil before you attack. 
Then I could ley line binding. Uh oh, if he has Jason hand, it's game over right there. Yep, good game. It got us to exactly 15. Pass priority, pass priority. <laughs> All right, God is on this one. Retreat is the sensible. I pull one thread, and your entire mind. And yeah, that's what I was saying. Like with with the Jaces, that becomes the absolute key. So. Problem is we were we were struggling on our blue mana there though, huh? Seems crazy to get rid of a couple up the beanstalk. But it could also be the thing that costs us the game. All right. Here we go. Game three. We're finally on the play. Let's get our Jace down early. And the hard thing, too, with this matchup, our best thing to kill a Jace is with a ley line binding. But then when they ley line binding, our ley line binding, they get back their Jace. That's where it's really hard. So when we do play a Jace, typically for full price, I like to minus four it. <gasps> All right. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, we'll keep this. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Couple Jaces here. What do we ditch? We need our third land with that. <laughs> yeah, se seven lander, love it, right? Um, nothing we want to do turn two or three. So I think I'd rather just get up the beanstalk going now. Well, I guess technically nothing I really want turn three either. Nah, let's go this way. All right, I really want to play Jace full price. I want to get the most out of it. All right, so we play this tapped up the beanstalk. Hope he plays his own dino right here. Let Jace come in. Man, he only has two Jaces, but he can draw them, I'll tell you. Oh, that invasion off the top would have been really nice. It would have made us really think what we wanted to do. So I like the minus four straight off. Okay, we milled his other Jace. So that's huge for us. That's the one Jace now we have to take care of. Makes it hard, because if you want, ooh, ooh. I like it, a little tech, okay. Gets rid of my up the beanstalk. We start plussing our Jaces. So this thing is not gonna be able to actually attack me. Become subdued. So Angel. Unfortunately, we're probably going to have to discard one of these coming up. Right? I want the threat, but what's he at? 35 right now? There's the invasion. See, we could also 6 and 15 puts him at 14 cards. Again, anybody out there, Colton, how, how's that first game going? Become 
subdued. All right, we get a land, so we'll be patient. Oh, it's 1 0. They're only in game two. Who would have thought our domain game is actually going faster than theirs? The Beanstalk. Huge. Let's see. Minus two. And then 20 or more cards. Only has 12. Huge advantage though. I mean, look at his hand. Five cards up the Beanstalk and a Jace and a creature and an invasion compared to what we have going on. You can be made to obey. I really want to minus two and draw myself a card. Negate and a couple lands. Can't risk the herd migration here. All I've seen is one negate. Let's take a look. He has two negates, two Jaces. All right, so we've seen one negate. We've seen both Jaces. We're gonna go for this for a little bit more value. He doesn't have a counter spell for it. He could use a ley line binding on it. It's it's a good blocker. If he does take care of it, they get rid of my Jace, which only has one loyalty right now, but huge upside. Okay, that's good. All right, so there goes that Jace. Twenty seven cards. That Jace is getting so dangerous. Well, Colton with the gifted memberships, thank you. People watching are gonna get a gifted membership right now. Man of Man, welcome, Man of Man. He is in our uh, streamer Kumite, which is coming up on Monday. Absolutely fantastic. I loved working with Man of Man. Please, everybody, right now, go check him out. I love his content. Really high quality, good sound, good visuals, good gameplay. Uses really cool cards. I was absolute pleasure having him in there. Just one of my absolute favorites to chat with during that streamer Kumite. Oh, Tyler D is here now. All right, minus three. Ooh, that hurts. And your entire mind. Stainful stroke, herd migration, and a ley line binding. And a Jace. So I only have, oh no, no, they killed my Jace. Okay, okay, okay. I still have one more. Just got here a minute ago and got gifted a sub. <laughs> nice. All right, well, we know they only have one more negate. It just has to be the herd migration. We're pretty sure it's gonna fall into a sunfall, but we just have to do it. We have to start putting pressure. We're trying to get that last negate out of the hand anyway, so our Jaces can come in. All right, so... Um, Tyler D. So Tyler D is here. Tyler D will face 
the loser of Dom's game and my game to see who moves forward. So Tyler D, no worries. You're just gonna have to wait a little bit. Uh, Roaming Boss didn't show up either. So we're doing a little mix and matching. Play the land, don't play the land. I don't, uh, if it was blue, I would say I would play it. It not being blue, I don't see the advantage. So we'll pass. Hello from Ace. I'm ha oh, sorry, hello from Ace. <laughs> hello from Brazil. Thank you, I enjoy that. I absolutely love, love Brazil. Have so much fun the couple times I actually got to visit. All right, so this is gonna be a sunfall for us, unless we see the negate. If we see the negate, that's gonna hurt. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Okay, they didn't play it. It's kind of an all or nothing. If the sunfall hits, we're in good shape. If it misses, we're just toast, right? We could also attract some of our own. I think we get rid of their Jace. Right, they'll, they'll kill two of ours, but it's gonna die anyway. Bare minimum, you block with your Atroxa, knowing you're gonna lose this anyway. Okay. So no, and a Leyline Binding. Draw your card. Do they have a second Leyline Binding? Okay. Jaces are gone. We could have tracks of our own, knowing it's gonna land. That might be the play over the Sunfall now. Yeah, that's the play. Right, because now we're just trying to get to this mill stage. Disdainful Stroke. Leyline Binding. Sunfall. Eric's. Um, let's see. We're taking one, two, three, four cards. Playing one of them. We could discard a land if we want to take an invasion. Or a stomper. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Really unfortunate, though. We didn't find another Atroxa. Finding another Atroxa there was going to be huge. See if they take my Atroxa. Wow, I cannot believe they did that. You don't have the mana to counter it now, and I'm gonna get it right back. And at least I get my trigger. Unless you have another one. Oh, does he have another Leyline Binding? No, my God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> no! Uh, all right. Uh, three turn clock for us. I mean, we got, we got our Sunfalls, right? He's at 18 cards. Fun, fun matchup, actually. Nice. To the face. We're actually on a one turn clock. Uh oh. He ca he counters my sunfall. It's game over. Right? It's nothing I could do.
Yeah, it looks like it here, right? 18 cards, I can mill for 15, not good enough. Sunfall, you counter it, I have nothing else to do. We try. Shoot him the good game, he's got it. GG's. Right, we can't use this. We didn't find our negates. Gonna take it home. You could play the Jace, but we have to take two damage, puts us at seven. So that doesn't save us. Right, maybe if we save the Mirix and we could have played it, I think that's the only thing we could have done. Maybe he makes a mistake and does a, uh, attacks my Jason, not my face. But yeah, no, good game there. So maybe instead of playing our Atraxa, we should have played our Sunfall, made him negate it, and then we could have played our second Sunfall. Maybe that would have been our line right there. So. All right, so let's move him on, at least not completely out of this. So Tired Tracker gets the win, move him on. All right, so now we still don't know the result here. And so Dom and Mo are going against each other. We need the loser of that game to play me, then the winner of that game is going to play Tyler, <laughs> if that all makes sense. Uh, Mo, they're still going. Unbelievable, they're still going. Mute me, right? Not this table. Not a table. We got no volume here going. All right, so what do we got? We we got. This is game two. This is unbelievable. How is this only game two? They should have sent a tournament. Oh yeah, I thought we were doing tournament matches so it doesn't take this long. All right, so Dom got game one. Oh, this game, I'm sorry, this game is over. All right, Dom's won this one. All right, you got a Wandering Emperor on top for Mo. You have two Memory Delusions, you get to flash back for Dom and two in the air. Plus that, yeah, so that's six damage, forces a block. Moe's gonna go up to seven. Tyler D, I hope you're still with us. Stick with it. It's gonna it's gonna be a while. Yeah, hundred percent. Everybody needs to be putting on tournament matches. I assume that's what was going on there. All right, so Mo, I'm gonna go ahead and send him the match right now. We're gonna play each other because we each lost. Truck challenge, tournament match, best of three, coin flip. Go ahead and send it out. So hopefully Mo will see that. Mo and I are going against each other. Winner of this goes against Tyler D, who then would end up going up against Dom right there. All right, so here we go. Yeah, so you get to see our matchup right now. You're gonna be playing the winner of this one. Play first, yes please. Missing another green, but we'll take it. I already forgot what Mo's playing. Was Mo playing Esper? Esper, that's right, okay. He's playing Esper. Really the deck I kind of wanted to play.
And yeah, so that goes for everybody else's future matchup. So Dom, you're gonna have to wait quite a while. So what has to happen here is Mo and myself are playing. The winner of us is going to be playing uh, Tyler D, showed up. Then the winner of that plays you for the round two. Also, just to let you know, we need to be doing tournament matches from now on. Tournament matches have a timer, right? So you only have so long to play. Oh, we'll take that. Up the beanstalk. Now we just give us a green land. Green land untapped, no problem. Probably have to use the herd migration to find our second green now. Do it on their end step. See what he's gonna flash in on us. Okay. Let's look at his main list really quick here. Uh, where did I put that? There it is, Kumite Conversations. Mo, where's your deck? Mo. In... All right, no counter spells main deck. Yeah, so Tired Tracker and Colton, you'll be round two. I mean, if you wanted to play it, you could, but I would wait a little bit. Only, unless one of you has to like bounce and you have to take off. But the only reason is, right, there's a lot of matches still to come. And now we want another white. We need to be able to play our angel. And we also, oh, nice. Oh. The Tide Bender ruins us. Okay, a lot of trouble now. Now we don't have the white for the depopulate. We don't have the white for the angel. Yeah, Tide Bender, like, sometimes when I have it in my hand, it doesn't do much. Ooh, why, why does he not attack with the two? Oh, that's right, I forgot. This can now block because you took away my ability. Wandering Emperor expected it. I hope you're ready to lose. Strike fast and strike hard. Okay, that's good. Let's take care of the Wandering Emperor. That's the thing that worries me currently the most. He gets aggressive and puts out more creatures. We depopulate. Be interesting to see if he just goes virtue here. Yeah, goes virtue. Puts the pressure on me. Could Angel kill one of the creatures? It's kind of tempting. But I just think this is better. Now the bird could start getting in on us. But if you activate the bird, I know I don't have to worry about the binding when I go with my Angel. Okay. Does put us on a clock though, these creature lands. land and we got a troxa now i mean do we just throw a troxa straight out to refill this hand it's tempting i'm sure he's got a kill spell i mean but what we don't want is the tide bender to hit this it's what a three four right now yeah, let's refill the hand.
All right, we got angels for days now. Obviously, there's going to be a kill spell here, and you're going to swing in, hit me for three. That's my expectation. Ooh. Okay. No way is this going to get to attack. Gonna bounce it. All right. Interesting. Definitely can put some pressure on me right now, right? You could activate both creature lands to swing in with those. One, two, three, four. If he doesn't activate, the, wow, okay. Does the smaller one, I think that might've been a mistake. Didn't mean to do that, but. Oops, okay, I already played our land. We're just gonna full send. We want them to activate their creature land. That's what we're going for right here. And then we'll be able to finish it off with our Archangel and we don't have to worry about the Tidebender. Yep, perfect. Wait a minute, do I not have the white? Oh my gosh. I only had white like that. Wow. Well, now don't I look like a bonehead, everybody? Okay, okay. Is what it is, we got him down to eight. Yeah, let's, let's take our freaking white. And we might as well draw the card too. Okay. Still in pretty good shape though, right? We, we have lethal coming in. <laughs> yeah, no white. It was, it was my master plan I had, and then I, I totally blow it. So let's already start, start taking a look at the sideboard. Two disdainful strokes and a negate. So three counters are coming in. Oh, another negate. Four counters. Okay. We're just gonna do a full send, force them to either use the kill spells or activate the creature lands. From there, we could then go Archangel. Looks like he's gonna have to do it twice. Oh, just no block, okay. All right, we get game one, so... Negate for negate. I still kind of like having one bitter triumph to take care of the creature lands. To populate, I think could go. Creature of the Schism. We didn't see, huh, what? Hmm. 
Right, so Creature Lands, it takes care of... We saw Wandering Emperor. Don't care as much about that. You know, let's just try this out. We won game one. Yeah, Battlefield Viewer. Normally, right, when you're, you're sideboard, you can still click on Battlefield Viewer and go check out their graveyards, figure out what you're going to actually do as far as, far as sideboard. Hard part was we didn't see enough creatures. I, I, oh, duh. We have the deck list, everybody. So... Preacher's black, Deep Cavern Bat is black. Tidebender, Virtual Loyalty, Rafine. Ooh, okay. And maybe we should have put those in. We, we, we have Rafine. We want to hit. Yeah, we, we should have sideboarded those in. We got Denik. We have Rafine. The Virtual Loyalty, the tokens from the Wandering Emperor. Wedding announcements. So I think that probably would have been a better. Oh, no blue. We'll go and keep this though. Really good at finding his uh, restless anchorage, right? Drew three of them last game. Up the beanstalk right off the bat. Flash in a two two on us. No, ooh, a little slower. We need blue though. Preacher. Do our ramp now? I think so. We need the blue I just said. I mean, we need more white though as well. I'm really hoping he taps out right here. We really need, oh wait, no, I don't even have it. I was, I was sorry. I was I was thinking this was my invasion, not a double herd. All right. Now I guess I don't want you to tap out because <laughs> I don't have a great play. Okay, destroy evil with counter magic still available. Keep up our negate now. We might just need to channel this. All right, getting a little life. We already have one. So getting a little life, find the extra lands I need for my seventh land drop. Can't counter my angel though. But if they do have a tide bender, there's the Rafine. Unfortunately, no answer yet. And this is where things get out of control. Right? So we could try and kill the Preacher. Yeah, so we kill the Preacher. There's no way he could stop that. He did, well, I don't remember if he played land or not. Gets rid of a Make Disappear. Oh, shoot. I meant to herd my grate. That was a mistake. Darn. Because now, I, I mean, I really need that seventh land drop. So this becomes a blocker. Right? I was thinking, hold up my negate. But once I don't need the negate for the turn, I meant to cycle there. Oh, sweet. I haven't got to check out Ash Lizzle when she went 7-0 in that thing. I'll have, uh, I'm super excited to check that one out. Tax with two. We, I mean, I'm not going to block Rafine, even though it's going to be more damage because of Wandering Emperor. So I think we're just going to block there, take that creature out. Ooh, actually now we can. Still would rather kill a creature.
Force him to use a kill spell right now? No, okay. Happy with that trade. Deep Cavern Bat, nice. Almost has to take my Archangel. No, they could have a Tidebender. Shoot, stupid Tidebender. Exactly the mana for it. Does take the Angel. Ooh, untapped land. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You're not doing that to me. Um, first thing first, we just swing in. So they'll attack with two in the air. They'll put it on the bat. Force them to start using their counter spells now. Stainful stroke, yep. So basically our plan here is the last thing we're gonna get out of our hand is our Troxa. Force the counter spells with everything else and if they just have it all, then they have it all. But it's kind of what we have to force. Really want to know their other cards in hand because they did get rid of a Make Disappear. Right, that would take care of a Herd Migration. I guess maybe we shouldn't have attacked with the Archangel, right? The Vat couldn't have attacked. They would have had to just attack with Rafine. You know they can't play this. Yep. Hmm. Now we attack with the angel because now the bat's gonna grow. You tap first in case they have a wandering emperor. Because if they have a wandering emperor, it's gonna change what I actually play. Okay, get another card out of this situation. I'm assuming another counter spell. There's another Disdainful Stroke. Oh, yes. Okay, now we're good, right? Now we have Negate if they try and have something for this. Although Negate doesn't take care of uh, their Tidebender. Tidebinder. All right. Assuming still bat, gingham life. I mean, 7-7 seven, seven is decent, but the fact it won't have flying or giving me my ETBs is really gonna hurt me. Maybe up the Beanstalk into it's just the better option. No, I mean, I can't afford another Disdainful Stroke. How many Disdainful Strokes did I say that he had though? Only two, we saw both of them. Right, you don't want to destroy evil though either. You just destroy evil right there. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. We need, we need black. We need green. We need blue. We need white.
I have the green available so I could still up the beanstalk when they tide bender this or tide binder this. Two cards. In, oh my gosh. Is it going to last? We get the ETB. Do we? We don't. Okay. Resolve. In response. Okay, so we don't get the ETB, but we still have a flyer here. So our only goal on that though was we need something to block these in the air. And if he has a removal too, we were pretty much done for, so. Would have loved to get that trigger though. I think if I'm him, I swing all in. I look for three cards. I look for that removal and I go for it. Hmm. Yeah, it do doesn't take care of it after the fact. Had two of them though. Maybe I don't attack bat. Oh boy, it's rough. That's big. That is big. See what he does here. Okay, I'll take that. Discard a card. Try and take care of the bat. Uh, actually, I don't need a ramp here. See if we can take care of both of his creatures now. Let's we'll see what that last card is. Even if this weren't to hit, like let's say he had another one in hand, at least I have another three, four life linker. So we're, we're in pretty good shape now. Got scary there for a while, for sure. The, the Tidebender really got us. So that was nice play. So Wandering Emperor, yep. Oh, nice. Little negate on the gate action. All right, so gets rid of my three, four. You'll be safe. Hit him for nine now. But I mean, pretty hard to come back from this. Let's just draw our cards. So right, obviously you could play your flyer, block my Atroxa. I get in for four. All right, well that, that's lethal then. Good game. Got three beanstalks. Didn't get the huge advantage off of those three beanstalks. All right, so I take that one. So I'm, I'm back in the thing. All right, so Dom has moved on, right? Tyler D, you're not actually out of it. You're playing me now. So Tyler D, can you go ahead and send me that match? Actually, let's just make sure. You're on here as Tyler D. Uh, 
Tyler D, I will send it actually. Make sure we do it correctly. So everybody else who's gonna do this coming up, it's a tournament match, it's best of three, coin flip, send out that challenge, okay? So this is now gonna be who goes into round number two. So if we wanna look at this, right, Dom's already there, uh, Colton's already there, Tire Tracker's already there. So now we have Tyler D and myself, we're replacing kind of this little bracket because we had to mix some things around to see who actually moves forward. Oops, oops, oops. All right, we're ready to go. Here we go. All right, good luck to you, Tyler D. This again is determining who goes into the second round. Those of you just turning in, we are doing the Kumite Championship. Best of three. Every single person in this Kumite has won a previous one. So we have our eight champions from the past all coming together. And I gotta even look up, what in the world is he playing? Tyler D, what do you got? Colton, Tyler D. All right, Demir. All right, ooh, ooh. One lander, that's a no. So we've gotten a one lander and we've gotten a seven lander. Had a mulligan a lot. Jeez, that's bad. We need green. I mean, green is most of my deck, so I'm gonna try. I don't wanna go down to five cards. This might be a, a real quick whimper here. All right, let's see what our next card is. I mean, if it's not a green land, tapped or not, we're pretty much done for. Good value coming. I mean, normally, right, if we were hitting our lands, he is setting just straight up for what we would want. It's gotta be green, gotta be green, gotta be green. <sighs> It's tapped, but we will take it, right? Leyline binding immediately stop this value engine. Main deck, deep cavern bat, schooner, spyglass, siren, mirix, to make disappear. Okay, so there are counters in the main deck, so that's why I wanted to do it then. If you had no counters, you would. Oh, nice. Now you're wishing you would have waited, have them swing in, then you use it, but. We get an untapped land, we depopulate. Oh my luck, I used in the week video series, yeah. Which by the way, oh, okay, Stomper. No go. I think finding the land is the most important thing. Uh, let's wait, let's make them hesitate a little bit maybe on what they might play. I doubt it'll affect them much, but. Granted, I could have played it on my turn and then yes, if I hit a land, it, it's not ramping me how I would want. But I'm hoping he taps out or doesn't just leave up two for us because we have to hit the sweeper this turn. Yeah, but I had a ton of fun doing all those down. Okay, there it is. So we find green, we have double white for the depopulate. We have a small chance right here. We go to 12. Wait, he doesn't run a spell pierce, does he? Okay. Yeah, so we do we do miss the land drop. Question is if I found that land though and he knew I had four lands, does he play Sheldred? That was the question. And that was the reason I didn't do it. I mean he's got a full hand to reload at us. But we play our land, we go right into an invasion. 
Schooner. Okay, that's going to be hard for us to deal with. Does he pass and use the Murex at the end step? We attempt our invasion to make the spears in, in the deck total. See if he's got one. Ooh, nice. Okay. We at least get a draw off of that. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. How many does he have? Or die. Where are they? Where are they? Two. Okay. Leyline binding is big. Okay, gonna hit me for six. So it's far too risky to go Atroxa here. It's putting all your eggs in one basket. So the better option is the Stomper and Leyline Binding. It's got the go for the throat. I was gonna say, hard not to keep that. So hitting us for seven, we're dropping to five. It's gonna be a short clock for us in the air too. Uh, let's see, if we go here, We can go up the Beanstalk. There's two, four, five, that's six. Okay, so. Make sure that's white, okay. Let's go up the beanstalk. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I want the added value of Leyline Binding. I mean, if we could get this down, that could be our game changer. So, end step, fire off, go for the throat. Oh, they just have it though, huh? If they play a creature. I mean, we have to do this. So if they have any creature, we lose. No, Mirak's token, good game. They got it, right? Mirak's token, crew up the schooner, swing in. Always forget about that little sneaky murex. All right, so a lot of two drops could be a temporary lockdown situation. A lot of blue creatures as well. So we're gonna put in just all sorts of removal on them. Right up our sweepers as well. Less of the big threats, I'm thinking. So like, I want a little bit of ramp, of course. Man, this almost might be a, I get rid of a Troxa situation. Mm. 
I think just one Atrox is fine. It's just such a late game threat. Yeah, if we stick it, it's huge, but I'm sure he's got the Tidebender as well. Yeah, got a couple of them. Negates, Duress. He's got kill spells. We just have to make sure we do stuff early enough. And then we could take over the game. All right, we're going to try this. After this game, though, we are starting round two. So Dom's going against the winner of this one. And then we got Tire Tracker going up against Colton. And I will be taking a pee break for sure. All right, we'll keep this, right? Because if they got their little bat, they'll get rid of my lockdown. But then they got the angel that could kill him. All right. So we'll, we'll take this. See if he brought in the dresses as well. Now we got lots of answers, at least at the moment. And I mean, anything is better than our one lander we had last game. Ooh, no flash creature either. Restless Reef, though, that will be our pain. Preacher. We just take care of him now. Yeah, I want to just swing in with my invasion. All right, so we got double green. We have double white. We need a black. Yeah, we'll go an extra white as well. So now the angel is going to be able to come down, kill what they or kill whatever they play, unless it's a sheldred. Interesting. I think I'm going to use this just to cycle now. Wait on this. So they get to flash something in, and if they get a land, attack me with a Restless Reef, which is going to be really rough. Interesting. He went from a Demir fairly aggro to going real slow. All right, so we got to cycle. We got to find some answers. Two mana. Eh, we have it. I think we use it. So make this pier gets us, of course. Wishing we had our cavern. Disdainful stroke, okay. Desert Eagle, hello, welcome from Russia. Thank you for joining us. This is determining who's going into round two right now. Tyler D right now is up one game to none on me. All right, so now we use our Sunfall. Starts a little bit of that refill of their hand though. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it happens not having that cavern, right? You only have four of them in your deck. So often I find it off of my Atraxa, things like that. So now that we are late game, we're wishing we didn't take out those two Atraxas because, right, we put in the depopulate and the temporary lockdown and we haven't needed it yet. So I assume he's going to attack in with his land here. We're not gonna block, that's just a chump. I'll take the four. Oh, the Leyline Binding, that, that hurts though. 
Not finding my answers. That's good. Uh, two, four, uh, two. We have eight now. So let's see if he's got the other disdainful stroke. Right, we, we want more creatures. See if it goes with immediately the kill spell. Yep. Okay, at least we gain four life off of this situation. Now we also have a blocker when they swing in on this to at least take care of one of those creature lands. Kill spell and creature land attacks in and then I get my herd migration. All right, so we're happy with that. We still drop to 11, but we know this is gonna be able to come out safely. We don't think they have enough, they could have the negate. If they don't attack, we expect negate, and then we can't really do anything. We'll just crew up our uh, incubate token. Ah, oh, that is a screaming a freaking negate, right? Make disappear. Yeah. All right, that's what we were looking for. We wanted them to negate that, so we heard migrate. Now we got some blockers, now we can buy ourselves some time. Colton, good call there. That is how you know we are honorable. Tyler D could be sitting here watching my feed right now. There's no way he negates my ley line binding if he's sitting there watching, knowing I'm about to herd migrate. And that's what I love about this community. Everybody's playing their game. We're not watching each other. We're making sure we're being honorable. We're playing the game the fair way, just as if we're sitting there live with each other. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I always forget about that. What did you just steal from me? Tiger Storms, you may play lands and cast spells for a one card sex without paying their mana cost. All right, well, that is rough. Wow! Concedes on it. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, we need to be able to kill those creature lands. These have got to go in. I think just way too important to be able to take care of those. I think temporary lockdown, not as important. Let's still ditch one depopulate. I got the spot removal there now. Cause I could still kill a deep cavern bat for one or kill his bigger creatures that I need. Oh, wait a minute, it's blue, right? Yeah, blue or white. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I only slightly wanted a trucks to the last game. I almost think I get rid of all of them. It's just so pricey for us. And they have enough removal spells.
Call me crazy, everybody, but that's it. No Atroxa in here. We're gonna win off our herd migration, our angels. That's what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna, we're gonna kill enough of his creatures. Maybe he's frustrated enough, and that happens a lot with Domain. You don't think you have a chance to win. All right, we'll try it. Of course, this time we get our Cavern of Souls, right? All right, so we got a kill spell, and we have the Leyline Binding. Leyline Binding is gonna be expensive, so if he's got the, he's got the bat. Pretty much gotta go bitter triumph here. Wait a minute, we don't even have white. Oh my goodness. Wow, I didn't even pay attention to that. Yeah, the, the zero Atraxa is a crazy, oh my God. We are in so much trouble, everybody. Holy cow. We need, we need a land, any land. So turn four, we can play our invasion. Otherwise we are just absolutely toast here. And we are just getting some really bad, like luck with this domain actually getting the right lands. A bunch of times I didn't find my white lands. A couple times I didn't find my green lands. Siren. Okay, I mean, they're coming in hard. So I think what it has to be is Leyline Binding the Bat and then use the Bitter Triumph to kill something else. Gix incoming, yeah, Gix right there, that would've hurt. Even if I draw untapped white land, I don't think I attempt to depopulate. Oh, are they thinking about playing something? If we draw untapped, nah, what do we have? Only a couple untapped planes. Pretty low chance that Namirix. Okay, still leaving up to two mana. I still love that. You know that if they pop this, okay. If you have the counter spell, you use it here. Because you know I don't have any other white mana available. Hmm. We'll pass. We want them to have to counter this on their turn. The reason for that, if they have their Urtai for four mana, it forces them to actually tap out to be able to do this. Can't take three life. I think we get rid of Depopulate. Don't want him to get any value. Okay. Still can't afford the invasion. I would love to do the invasion, right? But we miss the invasion. We have no removal. We have no way of getting our sunfall. So we pass again. Restless Reef. We are thrilled if they Restless Reef. If they Restless Reef, we Leyline Binding that, and then we can Invasion. Yeah, we take this. Oh, 
And they have the two mana up. All right. We ley line binding that. They won't use their counter spell. Now we invasion. They know about our Sunfall though. So they're just sitting back waiting. I think we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead. They're, you're firing this up. You're gonna hit us for, yeah, whatever. Um, so anyway, they're gonna hit us for three, seven, drop us to two, we Sunfall, and then they're gonna activate again, swing in a second time. So they got us right here. We, we need to have a ley line, but if we didn't use the ley line, eh. Well, if we didn't use the ley line, they swing all in with the preacher. Probably not the land. I'm forced to hit the preacher anyway. And they were able to draw a card off it. Wow. They hold back on that. All right, so now we force the hard counter spell. Negate, and now they swing in, GG's. Good game there, we go down. And I'm really excited, because I really should not win this tournament, right? I'm giving a big prize, so we'll see who's gonna take it. So we're gonna have Tyler D going against Dom in the second round. We got this Demir going up against, actually, hmm, maybe we should switch that. Tyler D and him already went against each other, correct? All right, let's just double check this here. No. That was Tyler D's first matchup. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Tyler, or Dom and Tyler D, that's actually right here. Uh, is there a way of going back? Oops, I didn't, I wish I didn't move him forward depending on who wins there. Yeah, you played against Mo. Okay, so Dom and Tyler D, you're actually playing each other right now. And then um, Colton and Tire Tracker, go ahead and get your games going. So we're on to round number two, and I'm just gonna be a spectator now. So I'm gonna head on over because we haven't got to check out Colton. Oh, Colton's off right now, not live. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those games going. So Dom's gonna go pee, I'm gonna go pee too once I get one of these people getting their games going because I'm sitting here die, dying. All right, so Colton's jumping on, oops. It says live, why can't I, okay, there we go. I'm gonna pop that out and send that down. All right, so they got theirs going. I will talk about this game in just a second. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. What we got going here? All right, so I was thinking when I saw the deck list, if I happened to have won that first round and I knew I had to go up against Colton, that was going to be a rough, rough matchup. Uh, only because Colton with his mono black, all the planeswalkers he has, and especially Lily, an early game Lily becomes so difficult to deal with. Up the beanstalk, got the value. Colton's hand though is pretty dead. Cut down does absolutely nothing. Virtue, not big. Gix command, not huge. You're looking at Ashiok. What can you do with that? So he could right now with the stomper, he could virtue it and then cut it down. But then you can't play the Ashiok. You play the Ashiok. Another cut down too, that's not good. So if he plays the Ashiok and gets a couple one ones, not huge value. So it looks like Tire Tracker's set up pretty well right now for game one. Really, I think the key for Colton, if he wants to do well in this matchup, it's it's all about an early Lily. Wow. Yeah, herd migration, hard to come back from. Right, you got Gix's command, only takes care of one thing. It almost has to be, yep, has to be a Sheldred. If he's got the ley line binding for you, you're just pretty much done. If I'm tired Tracker though, I swing all in, get 12 points of damage in. And another, okay, yeah, that's just game. So that's game one, absolute swarm. Didn't get to see the early, early goings of it, but the fact I see two up the beanstalk and I see two ley line bindings, I mean, he drew beautifully with his domain deck. Better than I drew all day with my domain deck, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that game one is over. All right, let's just go take a disconnect there. Let's go ahead and take a, oh, neither of them are sharing their decks. Are neither of you guys playing? Okay, Dom said he's now back, so he's gonna get started. Yeah, Termos, that's exactly for me. And on, like people will ask me, why did I choose to go with Domain? Wait, what, what's going on? The reason I chose to go with Domain is because I just didn't want to lose to it. And I lost to it anyway. It's just, I mean, it's one of the better decks. It's so hard to beat. And so I was like, okay, let me at least play with it. It's not my top choice. I, I mean, I thought for fun, Azorius Soldiers would have been really fun to go with. And then the other one I really wanted though was the Esper Midrange. It's kind of one of my favorite ones to actually play. Alright, so game one, let's see how Colton's gonna sideboard now on this one. And again, hopefully, Dom, you two get your game underway. Don't forget you have to set that tournament one so we have a timer on it. Yeah, Colton's got that weird animation going too. That's so weird. All these little glitches going on. So for sure, I'm Colton. I'm throwing in another Lily. You got the three duress, helpful. All right, I see Dom is now live. See what sideboard we got here. Let's go with an obliterator. I guess a little more power. I would rather probably have a shelter than an obliterator. Yeah. Might be able to just swing in though. All right, we're underway. Let, let's see what Colton's got here. Is he able to get that Lily early on? Gets the Lily early on. That is so huge. The only downside, right, 
So domain, if you have the ley line binding, you have the answer, you're good. Because mono black has no actual answer for that, Okay, so Lily's coming right out. And I mean, what do you ditch here? Actually, I'm surprised. Why? I would not have kept Gix's command if I was Colton. I would have sideboarded that one, I think. Only because you're, you're, you don't really care about giving your creatures a plus. You don't really care about getting your creatures back because you're pretty much expecting them to sunfall you anyway. And then the other one is fine. We take care of Atraxa. Well, you have spot removal for that. So Lord Skitter. No, I would have... Maybe I would have plus Lily first just to make sure that hit. He does have that one white out, right? Bitter Triumph. He likes his march over a Bitter Triumph. So now will be the question, can Domain get enough land? If you get an invasion out right now, that's gonna be absolutely gigantic. Huge. Best possible card for you in that moment. Get the invasion. Now any lands you do draw, you could start to ditch them because at least you already have six on board. Also, when Lily now ults, wow, kept the Path of Peril as well. I guess you need the Path of Peril, though, actually. No, wait. Path of Peril. Is that mana value? I need to double check it. I don't remember. Is it power level or mana value? Because, yes, it Herd Migration. Colton does need to have something for that. Yeah, I do think I do think domain when you're talking about best of three, it, it's top three as far as the best decks out there. It's always a pain to beat and just oh boy. Yeah, that's that's a re oh, wait. Oh wait, no, get the okay. Gets a refill of the hand, forcing Lily to minus now. And I think that's exactly why I would have kept my kill spell because the march. I'm just not sure what the why keeping the march. What's that doing? Colton is going to be able to get in for five. Oh, but that is a refill if I've ever seen one. Lily minuses. I guess six. Lily minuses goes to four. Archangel. Ooh, another Lily. Good draw. Oh, does, oh, minus six is right off the bat. Okay, yeah, that's right, because the other Lily, that's a good call. See how he splits it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm thinking three lands and a Troxa. And four lands and a Beanstalk. The Troxa casually draws six, right? I know. And that's why it's so backbreaking. That's why if I have one card in our entire format to ban, it's a Troxa. It's too much. I mean, the re I mean, if you don't get the refill of the hand, if all it was was a 7-7 seven, seven, flying life league vigilance death touch, that already sucks. Okay? But the fact it finds the cards just makes it too much. Right? You need an alchemy buff or a, not a buff, a downgrade on that thing so it doesn't have that ETB trigger. And I'm not a big fan of banning either. I know most content creators or most people, they want bans all the time. I think standard is so fantastic right now. I think it's just so diverse, but let's see where he goes with. It keeps the path peril. Okay, interesting. But but Atraxa to me, that's just a card that, it's just a, always feels bad well, as the opponent. It's just like, all right, this game's just over. You just don't really want to play anymore. Now, the only problem with that is what, what level does Domain drop to, right? You get rid of Atroxa. It's not a tier one anymore. It's still a really good deck, but I think it just takes its power level and just drops it off the map. Okay, so you can do two damage to Lily. That's going to force Colton. That, oh, what a draw. Unbelievable draw. Oh, okay. I would have plussed, I think. I don't know why he's keeping that path peril. I would have used my bitter triumph. 
I could be wrong. I mean, Colton's in the lead right now. I guess... Uh, no, I guess he's right. You know, he's right in what he did. Never mind. I, I changed my mind. You see a ley line binding sitting there. It costs a lot of mana to use it. Secondary Archangel. So now you have your bitter triumph. So Lily's gone. Yeah, look at the top five and pick one. That would be something a little bit more fair. But to literally casually draw six cards, I mean, that's just out of hand. All right, we're going to game three. Colton with the absolute comeback did exactly what I said you need to do with the mono black. Have Lily on the play. You drop that against Domain. It is so hard to come back from. All right, well, there's sideboarding. I do think... Oops, oops, let's disconnect. Let's go ahead and take a look what we got going on here. Oh, stream paused. Okay, there we go, there we go. Are we, we are game one. Okay, there we go. All right, so game one, ooh, 19 to 20. We got a schooner, no creature lands. You got the Mirix, I suppose, to crew it up. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in on this one because that game's gonna go on for a while. So this one will definitely end before theirs. Oops, oops, oops. Right, so you got Demir and again, Azorius Control. They're on game one. Azorius Control matchups usually take a while. Ooh, look at that hand, right? Two Leyline Bindings, two Sunfalls, Wandering Emperor, no Lillian hand for Colton. But out of lands, this is interesting. Lord Skitter might be able to just go a little wild for a bit. Let's see if he's able to find his land. If he finds his land, I think it's Sayonara to Colton. Bird migration, okay. Yeah. Now, now you know at least the Wandering Emperor is going to come at you the next turn, meaning you don't want to attack with Lord Skitter. Means you barely get any damage in. And then the Sunfall is going to come right after that. Interesting. I don't think, I mean, yeah, you get to draw the card off of it, I, don't, I think I would have waited because I felt so confident in my hand and I'm not taking much damage. I like this play though too. Interesting. I mean... I guess he had no other plans for it. Now you could just wander an emperor, get rid of the bat, get your ley line binding back. You got two sunfalls as backup. And unfortunately, Colton's sitting here with all removal in hand. And just a, a one one little rat is just not gonna do the job. Can't even attack with a rat though, because you're just gonna wander an emperor anyway. Okay, and here comes a two two now. Colton will then kill the 2-2. So your rat lives. Should should have killed it before the blockers at least get that one point of damage in. Not that it's even going to matter. I think Colton has realized this one has, has slipped away from him, unfortunately.
And then go ahead and throw out that virtue. I mean, duress is nice, but you have two Sunfalls to take care of. You're hoping... Okay, Sunfall goes. Destroy evil, take care of your big threats and your shellies. Tire Tracker, I'm sure, is just going to let this Deep Cavern Bat hit for a little bit. No point of using your Sunfall on that. Thin out the deck a little bit with an Invasion. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this one is over. I mean, anything could happen. You could start making enough Mirix tokens. Maybe those start getting in enough, but it's just a matter of a top deck for Domain now. You have any Herd Migrations, you have any Atroxa to come out. Yeah, nobody played Orzhov, nobody played Boros, nobody played Is It. So it was pretty diverse though. We had two domain, we have a Demir, we have an Azorius Control, we had a Mono Black, we had a Gagari, and we had an Esper. So I mean, still, if you wanna look at eight decks, if you look at tournament top eights, I think you would see a lot of those similar things. In best of three, you don't see as much Boros or Is It. I think the top on those ones is maybe a good Orzov one would have been... F oh, boy, that's brutal. Jeez. I mean, that second Deep Cavern Bat was his best chance to get rid of that Sunfall. But now that you lose both bats, he gets back a Leyline Binding and a Sunfall. Yowza. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's right. I forgot. Colton does play the one plane, so he does have the wrath ability. All right, now he's just got to go with this poison game. Mirix goes to coast to coast against Domain would be uh, pretty interesting to see. Oh, I see what you mean. Some brews for the stream. Oh yeah, I am super disappointed about that. So this Thursday was supposed to be that streamer event, not happening. So the unfortunate thing for me too is the day the cards are actually released on February 6th, that Tuesday, I, I work. I'm not gonna have a brand new deck that day. I'm thinking of kind of doing something like, uh, if, if you're a beginning on Arena, these are the things to get gems and gold and just kind of go over some arena mechanics for any newer style players, kind of how to build up your account. I'm thinking that's going to be my video that day because I'm not going to get home until after four o'clock. Then I'm going to get down and I'm going to play probably for six hours just because new set, super excited. But even so, to make my Wednesday video, I'm going to have to sit down for an hour, record. Then I'm going to have to sit down for an hour and edit. Then I'm going to sit down for a half hour and post on YouTube. Okay, so I mean, there's just no way I'm going to drop one that Tuesday, unfortunately, because there's no early access streamer event. Yeah, and that is it. I mean, Colton at a robust 28 life, but. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, goes with the careful taps to get his gicks out there. So now this just becomes an absolute full send for Domain. I'd probably put a plus one counter on my Vigilance. Oh no, it just wants to go even wider. People. 22 coming in. 
I mean, might as well, I, uh, I guess not. I guess Colton's hoping for a land off the top. Use the Gix's ability. Gets it. Oh, goes with the Virtue instead. <laughs> and good game right there. Colton, unfortunately, we didn't get to see his first round match with Gagari. He recorded it for me. I got to watch a really fun matchup. They went 2-1. This one went 2-1 as well. He just didn't have the firepower here in this game. I love it, though. Colton still tacks in. Still full force ahead. All right, so we got Tire Tracker. We got a domain going into the finals now. Now we're going to go ahead and check in on our other game. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put that in. So Tired Tracker with the win in our finals of our Kumite Championship. We got Dom going up against Tyler D right now to see who's going to meet him in the finals. So... Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Stop watching that. Disconnect. Let's go find Dom... See what he's got going here. Are we still in game one? No, we're in game two. Dom, wait. I'm sorry. Like, is this? I guess this is still game one. Oh, I never ended mine on my actual own arena. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, this ends in 43 hours? Oh, man. I definitely got to hop on and try a couple of these, though. All right. Back to the actual gameplay. Back to the Kumite. A lot to do today, though. So I am later today. I'm going to be publishing my top 10, I think, for the set coming out. So Murders at Karlov Manor. So you should expect that sometime today. I recorded it this morning right before the Kumite. But now I have to edit all of it, post it all. So I'm hoping, what is it right now? I'll hope around three in the, uh, well, it depends on how long this all goes because editing, but I'm hoping before five o'clock Pacific standard time, I'll be able to have that thing up and posted then for everybody. And then on Sunday, that's when I'm gonna have my top 10 commons and uncommons. All right. Is that still no creature lands besides Mirix over there for Tyler? Tyler, you could have done that for me. I would have appreciated it. So a couple syncopates. He's just gonna go sunfall. Man, these two, I guess, might have a chance of timing out though if it goes to game three. Oh, mute me. All right, I think I'm muted now. I mean, if he hears me, it wouldn't be the end of the world, though, just because I haven't looked at Tyler D's hand. I have no idea what's going on. This is game one, so there's not all that. Okay, he gets a field of rune, too. Takes away Tyler D's now creature land. It's really the Mirix. In response, you make one. Won't really help though, just because now Dom's got the Incubate token. Yeah, all Dom's games are gonna be long. And if Dom, even if Tyler D, either one of them wins this thing in the finals, I mean, sit down, relax for a while. We got some long games. Excuse me there. Anybody who's watched the World Championships, when it comes to that final day, the top eight, it takes all day. Those best three matches take absolutely so long. And when you're dealing with a bunch of mid-range and control style decks going at it, really nobody did a straight up aggro deck. And I think most people were just fearful of running into board wipes. Okay, see if you can at least trade off with that incubate token. Nope. Uh, 
So while we're waiting, I'd love to hear in chat though, if you're gonna do that standard event that we were just taught, or not the standard event, the standard metagame challenge, if you were to do this, right, you only get one loss, what deck are you coming in with? So best of three matches, bring your best standard, best of three, and how far can you go, right? To get your seven wins, that's a long haul. Somebody already said earlier in chat that Ash Lizzle did it. She went 7-0 on it. Yep, and here comes the farewell now. With syncopate mana up, the counter. Try a uh, Simic Artifact. Yeah, it's just so, I mean, going into those going, I'm gonna go 7-0 with any deck is always impressive in best of three. Not sure which one I would choose over any of them. Simic Artifact deck, I've taken that a lot into best of three. Problem is, I do not get Ash Lizzle's record. I mean, I get a lot of kind of four and twos with it, but I can't ever get much more of a win streak than two in a row in best of three. I can't wait to see her new build too with the new set. She's really excited about a lot of the new Simic cards that it could get and potentially give a little bit of a boost. Okay, can't counter that. Nice play. Will be able to kill a counter Sheldred when you try and drop it though. Uh, for five, two, four. Has the mana, has five for it. So drops the Shelly. No point in trying to counter it. So instead you're gonna go Soaring City. Sleeveless, last time did Mono Blue Delver in the, the standard metagame challenge and you made it seven wins with that? That is impressive. Again, I, I mean, Mono Blue is strong, but I've never been able to go on a run like that with Mono Blue. And Sleeveless, those of you now checking this out, we had a little bit earlier, Man to Man, all part of our streamer Kumite coming up on Monday. Sleeveless is a part of that as well. So I'm gonna announce probably tomorrow, everybody that's part of it, Monday is actual just round one. So we're doing seven Swiss rounds for that streamer Kumite. And every single day for seven consecutive days, you're gonna see one of the rounds. And then on that eighth day, you're gonna see the championship. And in the championship, whoever has the best two records, they're gonna be going up against each other in a best of five like the world championships. So it should be a lot of fun, lots of cool different rounds, eight different content creators all battling now, getting to chat with each other, showing off different decks. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I really hope you all enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, I think those uh, metagame challenges are fun, but yeah, they're, they're incredibly hard to get great value out of it, right? I mean, let's just take a quick look. Let's say you go two and one. Not the worst record in the world, okay? Now you lost 500 gems, you gained one pack, so it's not the equivalent. Realistically, you have to be getting three wins, but winning three is always hard in best of three. It's not like that just easily happens all the time. Oopsie, oopsie. Did I disconnect or something? No, there it is, all right. What we got? We got syncopate. Double syncopate action. Counterspell a Gonjo. I mean, Dom though needs to find some of his finishers here, right? Another memory deluge. There's the finishers. I would go another memory deluge, find what I need. Right, there's no creature land you have to take care of right now. I 
I'm telling you though, th this goes three games. I think somebody's timing out in this one. Yeah, if Tyler D, if early on he was able to actually just get some. Yeah, you got you got to counter that because you want to drop your Teferi next turn. And you don't just have removal for it. And with the Sheldred, oh man, that's big. Okay. Nicely played. Drops Dom down to four. He's got to go find some threats. Yeah, got to be, I would go syncopate and you, if you take the land, it's to give you that extra turn, right? Cause you're at six. So he does decide to do that. I memory deluge again. What do we have? Four, five, six, seven. It leaves three up. If you're Dom, you could also attack in with your 2-2. Hope he blocks and you also plus smite afterwards. So goes with the cheaper option. Wandering Emperor. And another counter spell. We'll see now. Does Tyler D, does he have the discipline to sit back with the Sheldred, just do nothing. That will be the question here. So gang the life, go to five. That gives you three turns now. I attack first. No, you can't attack. You got to leave a creature to block, right? Actually, tough choice. Does decide to go with that route. Open on that block. Okay. Now, now you might have to hold back Wandering Emperor. Hope he attacks in. Yeah, I mean, what is that? Is that Dom at 14? Or, oh, he attacks! Oh. Wow, heart was beating on that one. It was, the Colton says it all the time. You never attack with the Shelly, right? Not into any white mana like that. What a freaking first matchup though. Dom at 14 minutes though. So if Dom doesn't win game one, it's gonna be really hard for him to win two games. I think you gotta shoot out Wandering Emperor and maybe even just minus your own creature just to gain some life. Really hurts though, what are those two cards? Does Tyler have the counter spells? There's a stick, but a stick be, could be for any type of removal. Another channel land. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. He does do his own creature. Okay, I was gonna say, does Tyler in response kill it if he had some type of kill spell?
Does do the draw. Another water amper. Really good draw. All right, looking for answers now. What is that? Leaves up eight mana. Wandering Emperor, you minus it. Another Wandering Emperor. Got to take that, I think. Syncopate's pretty tough to use now just because you need so much mana available. Does take a smite, though. Hmm. Right? You could still double smite a Sheldon if it attacks in. So minus the Wandering Emperor, have that creature out. Really now though, this has become a battle of clock. What is what is Tyler D's clock though at? May your blade strike true. Why can't we see Tyler's? Anybody in chat give me confirmation on what, what Tyler's time is at? Ooh. Very mastermind. He lets it stick. Yep, I love it. Pay it. Force him to draw. This is this is gonna be what kills him. There's no stopping it. Ooh, he's at 12? So Tyler D has the same amount of time. Yep. Dom had to have countered that. Now, again, use the fairy mastermind one more time it's gonna be another draw drop him to one and then he'll pop it again so this first game is absolutely crucial for both okay dom concedes saves time absolutely smart decision there you gotta jump into the next one okay couple negates now, I think I think throwing in Jace here works well as well. Yeah, all four of them. Ooh, getting rid of the smites though. That is risky. I mean, you do have temporary lockdown, I suppose. I like the Jaces here. I think the Jaces are going to be the huge key for the victories for Dom. I was shocked when I saw Dom's list. He wasn't main boarding those because the Jace is what's going to help you win against Domain, one of the prevalent decks. If you're going against Gagari mid-range, Demir, all those mid-range style decks, that, those Jaces really finish them off. All right, so we're going to come down. Yeah, he really had to counter it. I think he was planning on just like using a board wipe for later and just didn't think about the card draw part of it. So I think he was planning on the the fairy swinging in, using your wandering emperor, exiling it, gaining that life, things like that. I just totally think it was just a quick little brain slip and didn't think about the card draw ability of it. Still, I mean, it still would have been a hard, hard, I mean, even if he countered it, still would have been pretty hard for Dom to win that game once that Shelly was actually able to come down, which is just a, Tyler D played that game just really, really well. All right, and again, so this is going to determine who's going to be going into the finals against Tire Tracker. Domain going against one of these two for our Kumite Championship. Going first, double Jace. That is so huge right there. So now we see Tyler D, how much, like, right, if you have a duress into a bat, now Dom could be in some trouble. 11.21 on Dom's side. What is the time there over on Tyler? It looks like Tyler 
I mean, I, I can't see the actual, and I'm not going to click on his. Right? I like to look at one and really kind of evaluate what's going on. It, it's the same. All right, so they're like neck and neck on it. You're gonna, you need to just try and play some speed. Problem is that with the Jace Wincon, it's usually not fast. Does he fire off duress right off the bat? It's pretty backbreaking. He does. That is backbreaking. Yep. <gasps> oh, hmm. I, I think I would have played a Gonjo there. Right? I want that Mirix for maybe. Oh, and the bat. Yowza. Just what I said. If you have duress into bat, that completely takes away Dom's great hand there. Dom is now. And see, this is the reason why that Mirix. Right? I mean, you would have had to play it now anyway as your third land, so I guess it doesn't matter. And now you have to hit a land drop. Blue or white. Don't tell me another bat. Okay, Gix. Refill your hand. So bat comes in. You could wandering emperor the bat then. Get your Jace back. So the question is, does Gix now draw you a counterspell? If Dom misses this land, doesn't miss. Okay. And he gets the blue. So now he has some options. Do you Wandering Emperor or do you Memory Deluge? Hard to pass there though. You know negates, make disappears. All the counters are in for Tyler. So you swing in. You Wandering Emperor, force the counter spell. And then if you're Dom, you hope you get your land so you could Sunfall. Oh, let it goes through. I hope you're ready to lose. Okay, takes care, gets rid of the card draw. Schooner. Schooner's always tough for Dom to negate now. So what do you do? I mean, I minus it. You know the thing is going to toast no matter what. Years of training for this. Guards, to me. So Dom was definitely on his back foot to start this thing off. Started off with a great hand with having double Jace. A little bit of mana problems though. And Tyler was able to go dress into a bat. So absolutely huge on his part. Memory deluge. You need a land. You got to have the fifth land. Need it untapped. And a Jace is what I would take. The syncopate you're just not using right now. He does take it though. So the question is though, does Tyler have the counter spell? If Tyler has the counter spell in good shape, but he needs two of them. Creature land, that's big as well. Yeah. Right, you wanna use the schooner, you wanna find out what's on top. If it's land, that's a free card draw, free card draw. No block, wants the larger sunfall. Another schooner. So now we attempt the sunfall, the sunfall hits. So Dom knows one card in hand could be a counter, that's it. You have no other choice but Sunfall because you could double Sunfall. That, at least in my opinion. I'm attempting, I'm gonna attack for two. I'm gonna attempt to Sunfall. If it doesn't go through, the next turn, you know your Sunfall can go through. But you will take some damage, right? You're gonna take 10 damage if this Sunfall does not go through. Well, technically not. You have your 2-2 two -two that could block. Okay, so you, you'll take six damage. Doesn't even attempt the attack first. Has it. 
All right, so Dom is going to take six damage. Both schooners are gonna crew up there. So both schooners crew, swing in with the creature land as well because you want maximum damage right now. So you'll drop Dom to nine, then the Sunfall hits. And then you could drop him down to five with another creature land. <gasps> oh no, he had the bat. Oh my gosh, takes the Sunfall. Now what do you do? Now double schooner gets in or attacks. One gets in plus the fairy. You're gonna take five, drop to 10. Forced on a top deck right now to find a sweeper. Yeah, crew up the bat. Yeah, bat is so freaking good. I mean, talk about an underlooked card from our last set as far as commons and uncommons go. Just plays well in so many different things. Disdainful stroke. You like to have the counter in hand. And this is it though. This, this is a top deck for Dom or game over. You're dropping to 10. You got a creature land there on board next turn. Tyler D with his Demir deck just coming through. He takes it. Good game right there. Super fascinating first matchup. That The game one was really kind of the game of the whole thing right there. Dom just wasn't able to draw well in that last one. All right, well, we got our finals. So let's move this forward. Unfortunately, uh, let's see. I'm sorry, I, Tyler. I, like, I don't know how I could go back and change this. I mean, I don't think there's a way to... It says delete event or... So we know this is technically supposed to be Tyler. I mean, why can't I change it? It's so crazy you can't change things, right? Yeah. All right, well, we, we got to move somebody forward. We'll move Mo because he showed up. All right, so Tyler D, you're, you're, you're going to be Mo for right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So we'll go there. Technically, this is Tyler D against Tired Tracker going to our finals. If you two could fire up that game, we're going for the championships right now. Just as we're waiting for them to get this one underway, let's talk about it. What are they playing for? Right here, you're playing for, I'm going to be purchasing for you the winner of our Kumite championship. You're gonna get 50 packs from Murders at Karlov Manor, huge. You're gonna get five golden packs. You're gonna get the Masker Girl Known Killer card and Masker Girl Known Killer card style. So when you get this, you also immediately receive the Masker Girl sleeve as well. So huge package, absolutely great value. And these were free Kumites people are entering in. Each one of them for winning a previous Kumite also got three to six packs, depending on which week they were. Because sometimes when I buy codes, sometimes they give you three packs, sometimes they give me six packs. So huge value from all of that. So this is going to be now our finals. That is the prize they're going for right now so let's go ahead bring this up let's see if they got them going so we got tyler d tired tracker going but tired tracker i don't know if he has a way to show his screen so i don't know if we'll be able to see his so we're gonna have to pop in and how do i mute me and masker girl no killer card style uh oh so how do i mute it i thought i did it don't want to hear me talk uh-oh, what do we got? Why, why do we have a pause? Hopefully we'll be able to fix this. I mean... Hopefully we get this figured out because we're going to want to be able to check out this last one. Ah, but she's actually not the killer. So believe it or not, if you like paid it, watch the story, I forget what's her name. That Selesnia 4443 ended up being the killer. <laughs> I 
Uh, and really, it doesn't matter what table you go to, as long as you go to any table you want where we could actually just see you play. So literally, just go to a table, fire it up. We got a lot of free ones right now. We got, we got, oh, I need some water. Well, we're waiting on that. I'm gonna go get a quick water. Got a lot of videos still to record. Got to keep my uh, voice fresh here. Okay, can chair, can chair. Okay, so Tyler D is live. Let's go ahead and jump in on this. It doesn't matter what table you go to. Is okay. You go to any table you want where we can actually just see you play. So literally just go to a table. How do I mute the person? How do I mute the table? It says it's muted, so why do I hear anything? I don't want it muted because I want to be able to hear the game sounds, though. You muted him, but is there a way to... I mean, we still want to be able to hear his game sounds. Yeah, because I'm not hearing anything coming through right now. Oh, Dom, thank you so much for participating. Excellent deck today. Good job in the first round. Nice no, win. Okay. Uh, voice for here. Okay. Can share, can share. Okay, we're, we're stop watching. We, we got to figure something out. We can't do that. I can't be hearing the, the playback like that the whole time. How do I... Tyler, is there a way you could... Mute the set. I want to hear your game, but I don't want to hear me. So we need just your audio for gameplay. Oh, what does that do? You could deafen yourself. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what that, I mean, I thought that just did me, and what that, I don't know. Oh, there we go, I mean, maybe it does work. Okay, that did definite, but now I'm just not gonna be able to hear anything. Uh, you guys need to go ahead and accept these matches. Tire Tracker, you have to go ahead and accept that. Oh, your game sounds are off? Okay. Well, this is gonna, hmm. I don't love that. Tire Tracker can't share. Tire Tracker though, we, we gotta get this game at least started here. Yeah, I don't like the absolute silence of uh, watching something, though. Our tire tracker is back online. Hopefully they're gonna be able to get this thing going. All right, so he had, he had to restart. All right, so now we got our challenge. Looks like we could be good. Unfortunately, we got no sound. You guys are gonna to have to keep me entertained in here in chat now. I mean, we're, we're gonna have a long one. We got domain against Demir. Let's hear it in chat. Who's winning this? Put Demir or put Domain? I want to know what, what are our votes? Wait, isn't there like a way I could do a quick poll? Colton going Demir. 
Could have swore there was a way I'd just do a quick poll in here. I, I never did one, though. Pop out chat, moderate participants, stream marker, create highlight. Termos votes domain. Yeah, do, so Demir, you get in early, right? You get your proper bats like we just saw in the control matchup. Then you have your counter spells for when the sweeper finally needs to come down. That is always your way to win. Game goes late, though. You obviously have to swing it over to D domain. Uh-oh. Is he not there then again? No tire tracker is online. I think they both sent each other out that challenge, which makes this thing a, a pain in the butt. Yeah, so cancel the challenge. You guys will have to send out to each other. Oh, wait, I heard that. I heard audio. All right, we got some audio. Yeah, Beanstalk early, obviously is huge. Fairy Mastermind though is a fantastic counter. That is a fantastic point, right? You fairy mastermind now that a little bit of value that they get. You're just going to draw those cards as well. All right, let's see if we get this going. Congratulations on completing Spark Rank. You've done a great job coming into Click your that, own. hit the challenge. If you'd like to know even more about All right, now hopefully Tire Tracker will be able to receive this challenge. Yeah, so Tire Tracker, it won't let you do another one. No, no, no. No, don't turn off your volume. No, no. Turn that back up. Turn your volume back on. No. <gasps> we actually were able to hear sounds. He took it away from us. Yes. All right, good. Thank you. Bring those up there. <laughs> <laughs> we need something here <laughs> all right so i don't know tire tracker is not seeing his challenge he's having some issues pump up the jams nice <laughs> no don't okay <laughs> Don't challenge him. Don't resend him a challenge because he's already sent you a challenge. So restart, open it up, and accept the challenge. If you send him one, it cancels his challenge. So hopefully restart. Okay, it's up now. No, both players don't. I mean, so if you go here and you enter each other's codes, yes. The way they just did it was the simple direct challenge. All right, so maybe it got challenged. All right, so Tire Tracker, now you have to send the challenge because he can't send another one. Oh, boy. We get to our finals and we run into a catastrophe here. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, view that challenge. 
What? What? No. Yeah. Okay, except. Why did that not just go right into it, though? Didn't make it a tournament? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I don't know why this one's not even going through. Okay, challenge canceled. Tire tracker, send them. No, 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 you have to send it now. <laughs> don't message. You can't send another one. No, you don't wait. He sent you one. He's not able to send you another one until you send it. Again, don't wait. You have to send him the challenge. Uh, he's gone again. He, he logged off again. Oh my God. Don't log off. <laughs> no, they're not using the sword on the top. They're using the sword on the left. So for the friends. So the sword on the top, you have to put in their actual username and all of that. You're not logged off. You're not showing up on his. Yeah, not showing up on mine either. All I have is Tyler D on here. No tired tracker. Still not back online though. Howdy for all the new viewers. Sorry, we'll get to these finals here eventually. Okay, Tire Tracker is on. Tyler D is on. Now send the challenge. No, change the challenge match. Tournament match, best of three. Send that now. Hopefully this goes through. Tire Tracker now needs to accept this without trying to send him a challenge. Yeah, they, they need to make it easier where just because I send you one doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to send one. Like, okay, it's, come on. That, that was sent, it should be popping up. Okay, so then you send him one and see if that one shows up now. And if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to go the other way. You guys are gonna have to do your challenges up here with the direct challenge. No, 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 don't log off. Don't hit play. Wait for him to send you one. So Tired Tracker, you have to send him one, except it's a tournament match. Wait, why, why is it not showing up? Unbelievable. Yeah, it's not showing up for him. Like, it, it, like this should pop up immediately so you could do it. You're gonna have to do it the other way. You're gonna have to actually put in, so everybody, right, you have your actual display name you're going to have to go up here to direct challenge and you're going to have to type it in exactly how it is. You could also write, uh, do control V, control C to actually paste that in there.
but we're gonna have to try this way now for the direct challenge because you guys haven't been able to do it the other way so far. And sometimes, yeah, there's problems with it this way. I'm not saying it's either one of your fault or anything like that. It's happened to us a ton on these lives, okay? But you've just been doing your straight out matches like that. I think you're just gonna have to go this route. No, don't do it. Oh, okay. So you guys should have each other's info either in Discord that you message each other. All right, one more time, guys. You're going to have to go up here to the top. You're going to have to go direct challenge and actually type in their screen name. Don't choose the person. Type in their screen name so you could actually challenge them that way. Because for some reason, when you guys have been challenging each other this way, it just hasn't been working. All right, so Joe, he, he shared his screen name, so you go ahead and type that in now. Oops. So come here, go direct challenge. This is where you're gonna type in Tyler D, hashtag 63B16. If not Joe, okay, Tired Tracker put his as well. So one of the two of you come up to that direct challenge up top. So Tyler D, if you could go up to those swords up top to the right of your gems. No, close that. No, don't do that. No, don't put it in there. You can't put, you already friend requested him. It, the tire tracker needs to go find the swords up top. So, no, to the up top right hand corner of the page, right up here to the right of your gems. Yes, yes. And now that's where we want to put it. Okay, now hit play. Did we do it, everybody? Did it happen? Don't get excited yet. I need to see tire trackers actually go through before we get the excitement. Did he select best of three at least? I hope he at least selected best of three. <laughs> no. All right, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Reading Rainbow, we're getting closer. All right, so direct challenge, here we go. Put that in. Challenge match, tournament match. We got that. Now we'll see if this goes through. That's it. They're together. <laughs> 
All right, I see no black screen. We should be good here. Uh-oh, what do we got? Oh, maybe I got excited too early. <laughs> screen, screen appears frozen. What? Oh, oh. And then, all right, we got it. We are underway. We got the Kumite finals. And this is what happens with live, right? It's going to happen. So obviously, if I'm editing this, we ch get rid of that entire chunk. Just a little bit of suspense for us. All right, so we got Domain against Domir. Pretty decent hand if, you, if you're sitting on Domir, right? You got your two drop into Gix. Oh, definitely laggy though, huh? How do you make sure? Uh, so we don't, honestly. How do we make sure? Like we tell everybody, we expect you to be honorable when you're doing these things. You're playing with integrity. If you've watched earlier in this, Tyler D, 100% was not watching. He fired off a counter spell that he should have waited on something else. If he was watching my hand, he would have definitely known not to fire off that counter spell. So the thing is, if they are sitting there and they have YouTube up as they're playing this game, checking out each other's hands, don't really know. And so I guess it's a little unfair right now for Tyler D because, right, we're not able to get Tyler Tracker to actually share his screen. So. Only person who could be cheating right now is Tire Tracker. But the whole goal here is everybody who does these, they've been honorable. They've been playing fairly. They've been doing it the right way. Those are the expectations. That's what I would expect from anybody who actually participates in this. We're here to have some fun. Yes, this one has got a decent reward in it. But typically, we're here for fun. We want to play the right way. You go to your local game store. We're trying to get a little bit of that feel with it. So the hope is this is just going to be a fair game. And Tyler D is set up nicely. Oh, see, I don't think I go Sheldred. Yeah, I know to most people hearing that we're just going to be integrity and we're not going to cheat seems like an absolute crazy thing, but I don't know. It, it's the way I, I do things. The only other way we could do this right now is we, we just don't watch their match at all. Nobody gets to view it. I mean, there's no way to, to check on both of them, right? Even, even if Tire Tracker was sharing his screen right now, the idea is... He could have an iPad. He could have a phone up right behind the screen. We couldn't see what's actually going on. So to completely stop anybody from cheating, I would love to know anybody else's idea of how we could do it. To me, this is the best way we have. Ooh, yeah, so I'm I'm playing a land. And I'm flashing in my fairy mastermind. So hit for five. If the board wipe hits... Flash in Fairy Mastermind, so still some damage. And you got lethal also. I mean, we're going to draw a bunch of cards, so. Man, what a swarm from Tyler D here. Kind of a worst nightmare. Si okay. Oh, Restless Reef. He already played his land, though. I would wait on the Sheldred, and I would flash in the Fairy Mastermind still. It's either way you want to look at it, it's going to be two points of damage. Yeah, I mean, honestly, so far the community be absolutely fantastic. Like in every single one of these, people have been so honest and truthful and just really playing the game the right way. There's so many examples of my opponents playing me doing something they would not have done if they knew my hand, which 100% just showed they weren't watching at all, which I just think is so cool. Okay, yeah, so you had to expect that. Now we get the Fairy Mastermind in. You're gonna drop him to four. You play a Sheldred, forcing them to have a Leyline Binding to get rid of the Sheldred so you don't drop to two. And then you also will have your Restless Reef down for the next turn. This is asking a lot now for Tire Tracker to win this first game.
Yeah, definitely a, a little bit of lag though, I think on Tyler D a stream right now. So flashes it in, and this would have been game over if Tyler D would have waited on his Restless Reef. Would have done the attack and then played the land afterwards. So Restless Reef obviously comes down. You swing in for two, and I think you play the Sheldred as well. Right, you play Shelly. You're gonna force a Leyline Binding out of their hand, or he has to drop down to two. But Tire Tracker really needs to have another Sweeper for all this. But with a Sweeper, you then have the Creature Land that comes in. So you're forcing double removal Actually, I guess untapped land, sunfall, ley line binding the land. I think that's your only out. Oof, did forget about life gang. That's true. It could be depopulate as well. Good call there. So there's the depopulate. Bot Brought him up to five, so he'll be at one. He's alive, though. He he found... Oh, man. Two, four, five. Okay, so Creature Land swings in, drops you to one. Fairy Mastermind is going to be able to be flashed in. Oh, that's right. Sunfall would have made him uh, lose the two. Good call there. Forgetting about the, the Shelly on board. Another reason why you definitely wanted to play Shelly. Loved it, though. Tire Tracker found an answer to at least stay in this game a little bit longer. Super hard to get out of this one, though. So Fairy comes down. Now you would need Leyline Binding for the Fairy and then you could use your Inkbake token to at least chump block the creature land. And you have a bounce spell. I don't think you could use it though, right? Five. Yeah, you don't have a, enough open land. See if we could do a chump block and then we gain another three life again. Herd migration, we discard. Wandering Emperor, okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, right, you can't Soaring City bouncing your card. So your land is gone and you're gonna go out to one again. What a turnaround though. If Tire Tracker is somehow able to take game one, absolutely amazing. Wait a minute, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot about it. you have go for the throw. Yeah, kill your own creature. Now you need a ley line binding. <laughs> Very nice. Takes it. Tyler D with the victory right there. Well played. Yeah, Leyline or Cycle Gang 3. Didn't have it though. Really good effort though. So let's see what he goes with. Obviously two Dress. I think two Lilies. And you're going to go Negate. Yeah, Cut Down's gone. Two disdainful strokes, two negates. And I I almost still like the make disappears though also. Just the extra counters, right? You swarm them early. I think I would keep the Gix over the Preacher. Really good build though. 
This is, I mean, lots of true threats to go against Domain. Thing is, I think I still like the two mate disappears. And doesn't like the Lily. Interesting. When I'm Domain, I absolutely hate seeing a Lily hit. It's just so backbreaking. All right, so we got Tyler D one win away from our first Kumite championship. And the hope is, right, we're going to then do another eight kum weekend Kumites. We'll have another eight winners. We'll do another Kumite champion. Then we have two of them. And eventually, we're going to have eight Kumite champions. And then we have an even bigger prize for that one. We'll have to do something crazy when we get that down the road. I mean, that's probably a year and a half down the road before we get to that point. All right, let's see what Tire Tracker is able to do. Is he able to get that comeback? Are we going to have a match three? It looked pretty split when we were voting between Demir and Domain as far as what everybody was going with. Hard to do better. I was going to say, hard to do better than what Tyler was able to do that game one. Not bad, though. Uh, Siren, I'd probably go Schooner because Schooner's a little bit more difficult for him to deal with. Yeah, if we could get the eight championship thing going off, that will be nuts. I mean, that's so far down the road, right? It took us months to get to this point, right? We, we kind of started doing these in October. And so we, we'll have one champion. We just needed to get eight more champions to then do another championship to get our second. And so, I mean, that is a lot of gameplay, a lot of lives, a lot of packs to be handed out over that time. Hopefully, right, I think these weekend Kumites too, they're gonna keep growing. We've had 14 people in them, okay? They're gonna grow 16, 24. We might eventually have to put a cap on it because it's just gonna take too long to finish these things up. <laughs> is my mug. Who's trying to steal my mug? Who out there would want one of these sweet, sweet mugs? <laughs> this right now is a one of one. <laughs> All right. I uh, wasn't paying attention to the game. Let's see what we got here. Angel is going to be rough. Waiting on that sunfall. Serialized Ace mugs, right? Oh, can you see the mug? Yes, you may. Let's see if I can get this, you know, okay. kind of in. I found oh. this on the web for can you see the mug? Somehow Suri's talking to me. Right, so I got the little logo here. We spin it around. I just got the Ace MTG on it. Just, you know, your, your fairly basic mug. But I thought it was pretty cool. My, my girlfriend kind of just took my logo and stuff like that and sent it to me. So I was like, oh, awesome. So I like them. Yeah, I want a play mat. Actually, that's one of those things. So you could make custom play mats. I would love, at least in the Discord, like have some chat and have some like design some of you are gonna throw out and we could kind of come up with a custom play mat. I think that would be so cool to do. Um, but I know a lot of you are incredibly creative. You might be able to come up with a certain style, a certain look. The one thing I think I do know is I want the overall background to be kind of that Kumite like round. So it's got the like ring in it and things like that. So I think that's, oh, nice. Okay. Oh no, never mind. That's Dark Side Shorts. I thought that was the Creature Land. That would have been big. So anyway, so that's what I, I would really love to do is get some feedback, get some ideas of a play mat, hear from all of you. I think that would be really cool. This is, this is a tough spot though, right? You crew with the bat, boom, you get the temporary lockdown back. Temporary lockdown is gonna take care of your schooner so you don't play your next schooner. I mean, this is hard because you sit back and wait, sunfall hits you. See, I think, I think I probably would have uh, crewed with the siren, attacked with the schooner, for some wandering emperor, get rid of it. Keep 
All right, Colton, I'm going to put that design in your hands right there. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think I have the um graphic design abilities to make that one. So what if someone wins more than one tournament? And that's actually happened. So when we do our weekend kumites, Dom won twice, I won twice, I gave up my spot in the finals once so other people could actually win so we had some new victories. So we actually ended up having to get our eight winners. We had, what is that then? We had 10 kumites to get our eight winners. So if the same person wins multiple times, unfortunately I can only give you a prize once because when I give you a, a pre-release pack code, Arena only lets you actually do those one time. So even though you might win multiple kumites leading up to this kumite championship, then the idea is, yeah, unfortunately, okay, you, you don't get much of a prize, we gotta keep going. Now, what if, Let's, let's just say Tyler D's in the lead right now, okay? Let's say Tyler D wins the Kumite Championship and in the next Kumite Championship, he wins it again. Well, then we're gonna just do the same thing. We still only have one Kumite Championship winner is what I'm thinking. But this game, I am gonna find it really hard for Tyler D. So the key for the Demir is to get in that damage early. And he's not been able to get any of that damage in. Yeah, I mean, you gotta kill the Wandering Emperor. Then if I'm Tired Tracker, I just, no, actually I don't Sunfall, no need, right? Just use your, your Angel to blast that bat. Because the problem is if you're Tyler D and you go put out more threats. Ooh, I, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't have, mm, yeah. So now Angel gets rid of the bat. Then you could temporary lockdown. Yes, you lose your tokens. Ooh, wow. Goes invasion. Okay. So you get to flip this invasion. And by the way, for all of you who are always asking why every Kumite we do is not best of three, look at today. We started at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are already three and a half hours into this thing. And this was only an eight man one. So if we end up with 16 people ever, I mean, we're talking about all day on these. And so, I mean, I still have a bunch of stuff I have to do. I have uh, a video to record. I have a video to edit and post for today because I want to do my top 10 list that actually posts today. Then I have to record the top 10 for the next day. I have to do a bunch of other editing. So just unfortunately, Saturday, Sundays, these are really my days to get editing done, recording done, because during the week, it's so hard for me to even get in enough time to get some gameplay. Yeah, exactly why we started early. But um, anyway, when people ask why we don't normally do best of three in every single one of these, that's the reason why. Is, I mean, we're looking at three and a half, four hours every single time on a live, and we're trying to go about two hours on the live. Is gonna drop the Shelly. He's gonna force out the Sunfall now. I do like that game plan. So get in for four in the air. Right, I mean, Tire Tracker though could still not even Sunfall. You probably have to though, just because of Sheldred. Right, your creatures can't attack in on this. No, it doesn't do it, decides not to. I think if I was Tired Tracker, I would have attacked in with my, well, I, I would have attacked in full, nah, I guess you could accrued. I would have attacked in at least with my Stomper, my, my two four four Vigilances. I would have attacked in, Sheldred wouldn't block, then I could play my Archangel, but at least would have allowed me to get in for eight points of damage. Okay, that's big. I 
I mean, you have to kill the angel. You can't allow any more life gain. Is gonna wait. Hard spot though right now. I just, I feel like Domain is so far ahead right now. Yeah, I kill the angel and I at least tack for one. By doing that, it now kind of forces Tire Tracker's hand to Sunfall. I guess attacking for one doesn't even do much. You might even want to just crew your schooner with it, but. So now this way, that's 13. Sheldred drops them down to 11. Sunfall now. Now you got a 5-5. Five, five. Hard to get through. It's an artifact. Called Angel. Now a herd migration. A, a Troxa kind of ends things. I think we're going to a game three, everybody. Gix. Can't you could play it, but that one one's not getting through. So I think you just double drop preacher. Okay. Right, you could double crew your schooner and one of them just dies, but then you at least could draw one card, hit for three, drop them to eight. Looks like he's going to double crew now. But I think this is going to be your last turn anyway with it. So you might as well do it. But that's the, that's also the reason I would have dropped the Preacher. Because with the temporary lockdown, when that comes out, the next turn I at least have the Preacher that gets to swing in as well. That's good here, I think. Get that hand information. I mean, you're sad though if, if a, a Traxa drops next turn anyway though. But if an Traxa drops next turn, you're pretty much done. Okay, that's better. You'll take that. So, ooh. Okay. Decline that. <laughs> does it make you shuffle anyway, though, even if you do decline it? I think it does. So it won't even matter. Ooh, if you had two mana open, that would be huge. So at seven, temporary lockdown's gotta come out, but that gets rid of Tire Tracker's 5-5. Five five. Man, I, I said I thought we were going to game three, but Tire Tracker now, I don't know those two other cards, but you absolutely have to. He doesn't have it. Doesn't have a herd migration. Doesn't have an Atroxa right now. You can't not though temporary lockdown. But that takes care of your 5-5. Five five. Oh, 
and a creature land. Oh my gosh, that's huge. You swing in for four. Oh no, he's going to do the ability. Oh, I do like the ability too, actually. Drops him to three. I think we're about to have it here. I, I think I end turn. Force him to sweep this. You flash in your fairy mastermind and you make a Mirix token. And you get to attack in with a creature land next turn. Play a siren. Use the map token. Oh, so many options. Okay, so you only shuffle if you do look through the deck with the Passage. Okay, I just had to read the card. Oh, no, I don't play the Preacher. Ooh, I don't play that either, I don't think. I mean, you might get it done anyway. Only thing here, Tire Tracker has to drop a, a Troxa, I think. Oh my gosh! How dare you? Wow. Oh, I see what Tyler D was going for. He wants to use the Gix's ability on top of what he did. Okay, I like that. See what he gets rid of. Ow, super fascinating right here. Gets rid of the Restless Reef because it can come in tapped. Gets rid of a Preacher. Restless Reef still is going to get to attack in. It's got Death Touch on it. Holy moly. What a freaking hit. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, you can't actually, because you actually need the mana to pay kicker costs. You get the other parts for free. Wow. Gix into a Traxa. Yeah, it happened. We were talking about this earlier. Well, that will do it. Get a Urtai. Wow, we are going to have our champion here. Tyler D is going to do it with his Demir build. Unbelievable. So now we see what Tyler Tracker finds. He's got two mana up. He's going to have to ley line binding something. But you ley line binding the Atraxa, right? And then the Urtai kills your own Atraxa and you have uh, eight damage swinging at your face, plus you have the Restless Reef. So that's 12 plus the map, just too much. Negate's now available as well. So force, force the ley line binding out. Granted, you got two of them, so. Well played. Gangs the life to six. Still not enough, though. Now you go ahead and kill Atraxa. You're completely tapped out. 15 damage. Tyler D with the victory right there. Absolutely fantastic. 
Round of applause for him. I mean, I'm going to have to figure out something, how to reset this thing so it actually shows him because we crossed him out at the beginning here. Tyler D shows up late, storms through, takes the victory in this one. He is our very first Kumite champion. Congratulations, Tyler D. Absolutely awesome gameplay right there. Really fun to watch. He played that Demir deck absolutely beautifully. Okay, I mean, just really smooth. In game two, I didn't think he was gonna win that one. I thought Domain had a little bit too much, a little too early, but he was still able to take that victory. Everybody who's tuned in for this one, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I know it was a really long one, but I think we had some really great matchups. Tyler D, make sure you stay on Discord, stay on for a little bit. We gotta hook up together. We're gonna have to communicate. I have to be able to purchase for you. We're gonna have to, oops, oops, no, that's not what I want. Uh, store. I'm going to have to purchase for you our Masker Girl pack bundle right here. So we're going to have to figure out all of that. And then I'm going to have to get to editing. Please, later today, make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to have my murders at Karlov Manor. I'm going to have my top 10 list there for all of you. So until next time, never forget, you're an ace.